Hi friends. Now in DAMS we've initiated a series called as Unplugged where we try to discuss the clinical and the radiological and the lab findings together to give you a perspective on what is going on in the patient. Today I have taken a neurological disease where the MRI findings will be very interesting to see and will be able to make a, some interesting learning here. So you have a 28 year old female today in the question with uh, neurological deficit, upper limb, lower limb weakness and since uh, 6 months and there is sensory deficit also, you have this is the kind of complaint you have. Okay. Let's see what do you see on the MRI of the patient. Look at the T2 weighted MRI now. In the T2 weighted MRI in the periventricular region and in the frontoparietal probably in, we might say best to say this area is the centrum semi ovale. In the centrum semi ovale bilaterally you can see uh, hyper intensity increased signal and that is like and which is typically involving the white matter. So when we see this we know with the neurological deficit we are trying to correlate this looks like a demyelinating illness but what is the demyelination like? It is having some bright areas, some dark areas, some bright dark, it seems to have a layered um, onion peel like appearance. Let us look at the contrast enhanced image. When we look at the contrast enhanced image you can see now that there is enhancement in one side of it and the other side is not enhancing. This is called as the open ring like enhancement. This lesion uh, almost shows like a ring like enhancement all around. So you have a ring like enhancement, an open ring like enhancement. What do you think we are looking at? Let's summarize. Let's summarize. So what we saw in this patient was we saw hyper intense lesions in both periventricular white matter and in the central semi area. These hyper intense areas had a multi layered concentric onion peel like appearance that we saw in the image which is hinting us towards the diagnosis. And when we saw the image we saw there is no not much mass effect because of it, not too much edema because of the lesion. All this now once you see this it is all pointing towards demyelinating illness where you do not have edema mass effect pointing towards a demyelinating illness. But when we remember the history, it was monophysic illness. It was not a relapsing remitting disorder. We saw monophysic illness. So we are looking at a monophysic demyelinating illness, which is severe demyelinating illness, which is causing concentric ring-like appearances with a contrast enhanced MRI showing you that open ring appearance as well. So we saw the post contrast imaging showing on the bilaterally, we saw that open ring-like enhancement and the enhancement in the lesions. What is your diagnosis? This is what is called as, you know, demyelinating disease is called as Barlow's concentric sclerosis. This is the, the ring-like appearance, alternate bright and dark appearance that we saw in the image, the open ring enhancement, lack of mass effect, less, lack of edema and uh, monophysicalness. This Barlow's concentric sclerosis is a subtype of multiple sclerosis and it is considered to be a more severe variety and is usually monophasic which we saw in the discussion so far. So I hope you are able to see the value that MRI brings into place. Now in MRI you do two types of imaging or two type of sequences. We do a T1 weighted image, a T2 weighted image. So now let us go back to the basics and understand it again. On a T2 weighted image the white matter is usually dark. So because of the myelin myelin content now let's understand again any tissue which is myelinated would have more lipid content and that would lead to the t1 appearance of it being more bright it would have lack of water which would make it more dark on a t2 weighted image while the area where you have demyelination is appearing bright but you see that concentric ring like appearance which is typical of Barlow's concentric sclerosis now we are able to put together and second thing that now we know is that when we do a contrast enhanced image, when we do a post gadolinium image, this gadolinium cannot cross the blood brain barrier. So whenever we are able to see such enhancement that means this is the area where you have the inflammation where you have the blood brain barrier disruption which is taking up the dye. Open ring like enhancement is typically seen in demyelinating illnesses while uh, you know uh, ring enhancement would have other differentials also to be considered. So we know that gadolinium leads to T1 shortening. So this is actually a T1 weighted image which has been obtained after giving contrast and the area which is taking up the dye is appearing bright because gadolinium causes shortening of the T1 relaxation time of the tissue. So this is the basic principle that we are utilizing. In neurological diseases, T2 weighted images are more sensitive to look for disease. A T1 weighted image is more sensitive to look for uh, normal anatomy. 
while contrast enhanced images help us to understand presence of inflammation or tumors because a tumoral tissue or inflammatory tissue would enhance and that gives us the insight into the disease process when you're looking at it so this was a case of Barlow's concentric sclerosis today i hope you enjoy this episode of unplugged do write to me in the comment section if you want to you know ask any questions or you want to discuss anything else let's let's be committed to you know learning together on this channel i wish you all all the best